Over. Plus, all new episodes of Jamie Kennedy and Off Center. And now, Family Affair. Be match. It's this or tear gas, sir. Okay. I want you guys to go back to sleep. Jonah keeps poking me. I don't want to hear it. Buffy breathes on me. Still hearing it, don't want to. So? French. We have a problem. Two kids and only one bed. I see where you're going. Which child shall we dispose of? We're gonna get more beds. Whatever kind the kids want. Mrs. Beasley wants bunk beds. Yay, bunk beds! If I let Mr. French pick you out bunk beds tomorrow, will you go to sleep now? Well done, sir. When you see me sleep, that's where I really shine. back in Indiana, huh? As a matter of fact, we do. O'Brien's falafel in the Maple Square Mall. The Middle East to the Middle West. Your life is such a tapestry. Dog bomb. Yeah. We've got plenty of that in Indiana, too. But not enough of that. <laughs> there will be plenty of that at my party Friday night. Guest list in the low hundreds, major grub, special theme. It'll be off the proverbial hizzo. Are your parents are letting you do that? It must be pretty cool. They are better than cool. They are in France. They trust me. And that's based on? Based on they like to be in France. And I hire a very good cleaning service after my party to destroy all evidence. Or as much I can learn from you. You're like Yoda with money. <laughs> I'm flying to Toronto after work. I'll be back in time for my date with Miss Haynes tomorrow, so have the Cabernet breathing. Uncle Bill, our bed's here. Let's go to sleep now. French, I told spot? you to get him a bunk bed, not a whole barracks. Oh. Uncle Bill, you're leaving already? Oh, I completely forgot to ask you the other day. Can I go to a party at my friend Sutton's tonight? Her parents have an apartment oh. right on the 12th floor. Won't have to take a cab or anything. Yeah, I guess that sounds okay. We got it. True or false? The twins chose a bed in complete harmony with our decorating scheme. How bad is it? Well, they rejected the fire engine bed and the bed shaped like a hippopotamus. Too understated. Thanks for letting me go, Uncle Bill. Bye. See you later, Mr. French. Whoa, 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 slow down. Um, is there anything else I should know about this party? There will be boys there and probably dancing to music which may be found loud and offensive. Thanks for the heads up. Just use good judgment. Thanks, Uncle Bill. You rock. See you later, Rens. I rock. Like Gibraltar. So, <sighs> what'd we end up with? Say ahoy to the garish rainbow submarine adventure bed. Rub a dub by the sub and dock in sleepy harbor. Much assembly required. Which I'm sure will go just fine while I'm in Toronto. You have all the usual phone numbers? I do, sir. Buffy and Jody's school, the doctor, and the paramedics. Better add to Coast Guard. <laughs> Submarine's all set up. That'll be $300 for the installation. Best $300 my employer ever spent. 
Software's all loaded, but you got the 1.0 beta test version, and it's still a little buggy. Excuse me, did you say software? Yeah. How else are you gonna run all the unit's electronic systems? <laughs> well, I, um... If you want to hook it up to a landline, you can download the upgrade. On second thought, you don't have a T1 in your bedroom, so you might want to call and get the CD. But it's a bed. Read the box, my friend. It's not just a bed. It's an adventure. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck departed the equation a long time ago. Control. Oh, six. Control. Oh, six. Oh, make that infernal song stop! What do you see on the water, Jody? The sailor? A mermaid, a whale named Bob, and on the water, she made a gun. Where should we go, Buff the Sailor? Where should we go, Captain Mrs. Beasley? Bubblegum City, aye, aye. Ask the mayor of Bubblegum City when that miserable bed store is going to deliver software that works. Well, we'll try shift alt six. Aye, aye. Sissy's good at computer stuff. Yes, well, Sissy's at a party and therefore of limited use. I'm afraid we're all alone on our little voyage of the doomed. Aye, aye. Hello, Davis residence. Oh, thank heavens, I'll be right down. Aye, aye. The new aye. software is here, so I'm going down to the lobby. You stay on that top bunk bed or the sub will sink all the way down to the ocean floor where the intense pressure of all that water will crush it like a tin of kippers we're kippers <laughs> I trust you realize your company is doing grave damage to Western civilization. Which is why we're giving you this 30% off coupon for our new line of talking potties. Pass. Thank you very much. Thank you. you. Hey, hold hey. up, hold up. Wait up, wait up. Woo! No, we're not. So, Sutton's parents are away, right? Yeah, they're in France or Europe. I don't know. Sweet deal. Should we prep? Let's go. <laughs> Excuse me. This is not a clothing optional lift. You go to an underwear party? <laughs> you go in your underwear. We'll see you later, Mr. Fish and Chips. Bye, dude. Four-year-old Glenn Lurie, Mr. Davis. Thanks, Sharon. You know, your Scotch and I are the same age. What are the odds? Bill Davis. Oh, thank heaven, sir. Difficult situation here. Sissy's party. It's Gomorrah. Is she okay? Well, it's hard to say. The party she's at is... is... What is it? Is it drugs? No, 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 no drugs. But no parents. And no pants. No pants. Are they. are they naked? Uh, well, no. I mean, they're wearing under things. Last time I checked. French, just go down and get her out of there. Sir. Rusty. Flag on the play. New York Tower. This is Citation 9748 Charlie requesting immediate return. Mark of Blue Star Production. Come down.
down here to get your groove on? Yes. The maintenance of my groove occupies most of my attention. Tell me, as the hostess of this bacchanalian hoedown, do you have a slight notion where Sissy might be? Yeah, she's in my parents' bedroom with Dijon and Pojo. Relax, they're just watching the end of the Rangers game. I have no idea what a Pojo might be, but if Sissy's in the bedroom with one, I don't think... Why, well, Miss Sissy. Hello. Mr. French, why are you here? I am here at your uncle's request to get you out. I don't believe this. What am I, a little kid? No. You're a 14-year-old girl at a party with no adult supervision, wearing nothing but your knickers. That's what everybody's doing. That's kind of like the theme of the party. Ah, well, here's a new theme. The party <laughs> is over. Hey! Mr. French, what are you doing? I can't believe you turned an entire airplane around. It's my airplane. Why is this such a big deal? You lied to me. That's why it's a big deal. I didn't lie. You didn't tell me that Sutton's parents were out of town. Chamomile. What are we really talking about here? The skin? Yes, boy skin and girl skin. And the next thing you know, you... and lots of it. You see just as much skin at a pool party, right? You know you're going to get punished for this. You stay here, sir. I'll deal with Das bed. Look, I'm going to bed. No. Oh, this will be a valuable lesson. You're going to punish me for something that didn't happen. Oh, you know, we weren't drinking at Sutton's either, so I guess I'm guilty there, too. Hey, don't give me attitude. That's Sutton's turn. This has nothing to do with Sutton. I think it does. She's a terrible influence on you. I think that you could choose better friends. OK, let's go down to the convent tomorrow, and you can help me pick out some new ones. Uncle Bill! Mr. French is pulling our bed apart. And he's calling it funny name. I'm scared of our bed. I'm scared of Mr. French. Could we sleep with you tonight, Uncle Bill? Uh, Sure, sure, I'll be right in. You choose nuns, that's up to you. Bottom line is, I don't want you hanging out with Sutton. For how long? Forever! No, seriously. I'm quite serious. You're actually telling me who I can be friends with? Well, you don't seem to be very good at picking them, so until you are, I'll do it. <laughs> Morning, French. And to you, sir early afternoon, as the case may be. Oh, wow. 12.30. Indeed. A mere seven hours to your date with Miss Haynes. Oh. I thought the rack of lamb and the Rudd Jericho Canyon 98. You think well, butler of mine. Did you have any musical preferences for this evening, sir? Anything but that stinking submarine song. Buffy and Jody sang it all night long. I'm grimly familiar with that particular ditty. <laughs> So, uh, you seen Sissy this morning? She stomped into the kitchen about 9.30, gave me one of these, <laughs> and then headed into the park to go rollerblading. If it's at all reassuring, she was fully clothed. I'm doing the right thing. She lied to me, I punished her. I'm the parent here, basically, and that's how it works. I mean, Sissy will be mad at me for a while, but she'll... She'll get over this. Oh, I'm certain of it, sir. Teenage girls are noted for their compliance. You have to put a quarter in or it doesn't work. <laughs> so you use this much? Yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, you can see Mars really well this time. Mars? Yeah. You know you use this to look for naked people in that building over there. Oh, not true. Not fair. That building has tinted windows. All the good naked people are over there. <laughs> hey, Uncle Bill. Sissy. What can I do for you? Nothing. Hi, I'm Sissy. Hi, I'm Cricket. Cricket? Really? What a neat name. Is it for the English sport or Pinocchio's little cartoon pal? See, didn't you tell me that you were going to go see some band tonight? Oh, well, I was, but Sutton was going to be there, and we all know how dangerous she is. So I decided I'd just stay home and kick it with Dijon and Pojo. Ah, uh, hi, uh, Bill Davis. You have a very stellar creep here, sir. I am impressed. Dude. <laughs> so who's Sutton, and why is she so dangerous? I never said that she was dangerous. I, 
I said that she was inappropriate. She had a party where all the kids were dancing around in their underwear. An underwear party? I love those. They're awesome. Wow. You know, you and Sutton have so much in common, don't they, Uncle Bill? Uh-huh. So, what do you do, Cricket? She works for the NBA. I'm a Nick City dancer. A cheerleader? You know, I'm studying dance. Um, maybe you could show me some stuff. Sure. I can do full splits at the drop of a hat. <laughs> I got a hat here. I'm sure you didn't come over to dance around and do the splits. Uncle Bill, Mrs. Deezy's trapped in our bed. What? How? She's stuck in a torpedo tube. We thought there might be a sea monster living in that hole. Jody put Mrs. Beasley down there to find out. Well, better than his head, I guess. I don't suppose this fire torpedo lever actually works. <laughs> guess it does. <laughs> Why don't you, uh, come with me, please? So, Dijon, Pojo, tell you what, thanks for dropping by, okay? French, sup? Take Dijon and Pojo downstairs, put them in the cab, and tell the driver to go until this runs up. Gentlemen? Hey, you said your uncle was cool. Dude! Here, have a nice night somewhere else, okay? Dude! Oh, see, I can work with this, too. Always a pleasure. Uh, Cricket. Maybe we should take a rain check for tonight. It's not supposed to rain, is it? You're not strengthening my position here. I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Okay, you've obviously got some childish point that you're trying to make here, so why don't you just come out with it? I just find it interesting that you have such high standards when it comes to picking my friends. When your friends are, well, cricket. I don't see how it's any business of yours who I pick for my friends. Exactly. What I mean is, the, my relationship with cricket is not the same thing as you and Sutton. Yeah, you're right. I don't get to say she's a bad influence on you. I'm trying to protect you. What am I supposed to do? Punish me for the right thing? Yeah, okay, I lied to you. A little, indirectly. But I did it. Don't blame Sutton. See, this is where this isn't fair. You've had years of experience arguing with parents. I'm brand new at this. So can we please rethink the whole lifetime ban on Sutton? Yeah, okay, maybe I overreacted with my scorched earth policy. How about this? With the proper supervision, that means parents at parties, you can keep hanging out with Sutton. That, does that sound fair? Yes, very fair. Thank you, Uncle Bill. Wait a minute, I still need to punish you. Do you? Yes, 20 push-ups. <laughs> what? Well, I'm not that good off the top of my head. I'll come up with something better tomorrow. All right. So fear me. Sure. Will there be anything else this evening, sir? God, I hope not. I've done enough parenting for one night. And will Miss Haynes be making a return appearance in the future? I don't think you're going to be seeing cricket around here anymore. I can't really argue that she's a good role model for the kids, and bringing her around the apartment is not setting a good example. So you'll be going to her place, then? Yeah, next week. And after that, the Hamptons. <laughs> Did you finally solve the submarine problem? Oh, I did indeed, sir. I unplugged it with great relish. Good. Unfortunately, I neglected to dispose of the box the bed came in. You're sleeping in a box. Actually, sir, 
They're sleeping in the magic treasure cave on the secret island near where the submarine lives. I spent $7,000. And they're sleeping in a box? The point is, sir, uh, they're sleeping. Well done, French. Aye, aye, sir. Next on the WB... My work here is done. An all-new do-over is just moments away. The evil one. On the WB Friday, Reba's hit rock bottom. Perhaps we shouldn't judge Reba, sitting here in her bathrobe in the late afternoon, drinking whatever's in that cup. <laughs> Luckily, she's got a plan. I'm getting a job. <laughs> An all-new Reba. Then, the show critics call witty and offbeat. Let's go, David. I'm teaching you how to drive. Yay. An all-new Greetings from Tucson, right after Reba, on an all-new WB Friday Night.